Hi everyone, this is part three of our room tour. I'm going to have a look at what we've got stored in the loft. Some decent things. Check it out. So here we are in the loft. Lighting isn't great, but it's alright for me to see, but not for recording purposes. But first of all, I'll do my best to uh, just spin around that little area there is all the boxed consoles that aren't actually set up some shelving and then you can see just down there that's a lot of the boxes for things that are actually set up downstairs in the rooms more boxes there things are set up you can see just there about oh let me think how many, how many is there? about 12 full comic boxes we used to collect comics heavily in the 90s and the noughties so that's our big collection of comics there that we've kept Moving around, again just basic storage things, rock band drum kit you might give me, and moving around again, more shelving, more storage of spares and that kind of thing, and parts of the collection we don't actually have on display, which I'll show later, but let's move further down the other side of the loft again, apologies for the lighting, so what have we got here, look. I don't even know if you'll be able to see with this light now, I can barely see it myself on the screen. Got two spare CRTs, both um, two RGB SCART, spare VCRs, laptops, multi region DVD players, and the bottom of the loft is boring stuff. But as you can see, like the rest of our rooms, very tidy, just how I like it. So let's start looking at things down the bottom end. Where all the shelving stuff like it is, right? Let's set us down there and let's try and get sorted. I think that's starting off there. Here's Xbox steering wheel that my friend Ted gave me. Very kind of him. Oh, that's a good look. Oh, boring stuff. And there, what we've got? So, oh, spare um, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 2 controllers. Microphones and such like, charging wires. Some of the things in here aren't as neat as what they are downstairs, but I do try my best to look in the bottom of the shelf. That's the actual Wii controller and the Wii remote and everything for our 25th anniversary Wii and a couple of other bit, uh, Wii bits and pieces, spares, because I've actually already got one of those. Um, drawing pad things in full like in the box itself. I haven't got out to put that one away yet. Let's move along here. What have we got? Something I, I don't even remember what's in half of these. Top shelf spares and bits and pieces for some of the units downstairs. We've got uh, spare SNES controllers. PlayStation 1 and 2 memory cards. Oh, they're all the actual uh, cases for um, PSPs, 3DS, DS, and all the other handhelds we have. The bottom, we've got there. Oh, just doing a mouse map from work. And a charging cable for oh, some um, device my brother gave me. Anyway, that's that. Boring stuff, I guess. HDMI cables underneath there, all obviously neat in, in their own little um, container. AV cables and RGB cables. So let's move around. So you can see a couple of rock band guitars again, given by my friend Alex. I've got a, a PS1 steering wheel there, given to me by my mate Jack. On top of there. My lads used to be well into Skylanders, so I'll bring them down. Let's have a look in there, shall we? Right, so this one is like a collector box of Skylanders Trap Team. As you can see, it's quite decent actually, like, quite nice. This is the, I think this is the last um, Skylanders game that they got into properly, so as you can see, there isn't that many of those crystals, but. Um, Decent stuff there. Let's close on. Let's look at the other ones. 
Right, these other boxes are quite good. As you can see, let me move this camera a bit. They all like linked together and click together, so it's a good storage option to be honest. So let's have this blue one on top first. Clip the sides off so we can open them all out. Right, pull that out of the way now. There you go. I wouldn't have a clue there. I'm sure my lads would if they were up here, but they do no homework. So yeah, that's the blue one. Next one. Yeah, this one feels like there's more in this one. Other way around. That one in the middle, I think they're the Skylanders Giants and ones, aren't they? Again, no idea where any of those characters are. So it says on the side there, that one's Swap Force. Should look at that really, shouldn't I? That one is just Skylanders normal ones, according to the box anyway. And this last one is also Swap Force. Well, that means what's inside, who knows? There's more of the other Skylanders. It's like watching play the Skylanders actually, but obviously they grew out of it unfortunately, but it was quite a smart game. Let's clip all them back. I'll clip them back together and move it and resume the camera in a second. So we're going to, this is um, downstairs in games room 2, I've got just disc boxes of the Atari ST and Commodore Amiga games. And these are just the boxes for some of them. I do like these um, Sierra Line adventure games. And the boxes and all the bits come with them, Grace. That's uh, King's Quest 2, King's Quest 3, King's Quest 1, Police Quest 2, The Vengeance, my favourite point and click game ever, Space Quest 3, absolutely love that one, Blue of the Temptress, and some of the normal generic ones. So we've got Falcon. Silkworm, Zen and 2 Mega Blast, Double Dragon, Robocop, TV Sports Football, Hard Driving, Thunderblade, Operation Wolf, Bad Dudes vs Dragon Ninja, Stunt Car Racer, this is another fantastic point and click adventure which I really enjoyed. Future Wars, great one that one was. I've got a second power drive in there, Atari ST power drive. What else have we got there? Micro Pro Soccer, no one talks about that anymore, I used to love that. You swear the balls, to the pop in was good. Another good point and click, Indiana Jones Last Crusade. And finally, RVF Honda. Right, that last box was Atari ST games with Lure of the Tempest, which was Amiga. But these are all Amiga now, these ones. Jurassic Park. Cannon Fodder 2. Heimdall 2. Sensible Soccer. Sensible Golf. Stardust. Bubba Sticks, Kingpin, what have we got here? Award winners, Definitive Games Collection, Spaces, Kickoff 2, Pipe Mania and Populous. Walker, you can't beat that artwork on those Psygnosis games, can you? Which obviously takes on that one as well. Blood Money, Double Dragon 2. Operation Thunderbolt. Oh, glare there. Times of Law. Tried Collection, which has, let me see, Star Glider, Defender of the Crown, and Barbarian on it. Volume 2 of the Tried Collection, which is Menace, Tetris, and Baal. A couple more. What have we got there? 
arcade pool. What's that one? Fly harder, buzz. Oh, by buzz, fly harder. Project X and the Blues Brothers. Let's move on. So, poor lighting, but there you go Xbox 360 steering wheel, the official one, and a couple of our lads' old Minecraft toys. Let's look in the shelves, shall we? Top shelf is. Let me pull it out. We have in there. Oh, let me see. Um, Xbox 360 and an Atari 7800, which I need to repair. I'm currently saving to get some uh, decent soldering kit for the garage. I've got the garage done out now, so I can start uh, fixing things. So that's my next big job. But the 7800 is probably the first job I'm going to take on when I get me bits and pieces. Let's go down. So, I'll do my best with lighting, but I don't have any additional lights just to shine it on better, but anyway, they're all just various um, peripherals for what we've got there, the Wii U, N64 SCAT cables, component cables for the Wii, a couple of hints and tips, some of those old plug-in Atari and Mega Drive trash things that you plug straight in your TV, next one down, if you watch the uh, Room 201, You'll know my story about the Atari Lynx, why I threw the box out, that's the actual um, carry case that I use, that's why I threw the box out, which was very silly. And the bottom of the shelf is another Dreamcast, Spare Amiga Power Pack, PS1, and other bits and pieces underneath it, wires and various things. So this, I'll back so you can see it a bit better. There it is. Trying to get out the light, it's difficult. This loft's three story house, so the loft is a bit small. I'm six foot tall, so it's not easy for me. Loads of AV cables for every console, not the man. Some of the, you got, I got some of these like um, things on the side of the PVMs and some Raspberry Pi odds and sods. That one is all Xbox 360 peripherals. All sorts of gubbins, about three or four different connectors in there. The white connector that goes with the Star Wars, but I just prefer the black one in room one, so that, all that's in there. All the Philips video pack games. Got quite a few in there actually, a few of them are boxed as well. But that's another one of my repair jobs eventually. I need to repair that. So when I do, I'll be able to test out all those games in the back. Bottom drawer. All the computer stuff, joysticks, a couple of zip sticks, a couple of Kempston ones, spare Amiga mouse, loads of brushes and all sorts of maps and that for some of the Amiga games, ST games. Moving on. Game Boy boxes, pocket box, yeah there's a pocket for the, for the Game Boy, you know, that's the Game Boy case, <laughs> official carry case, I've got the box for that. A lot of the lads, um, what they call them, uh, Disney Infinity characters and all Disney Infinity stuff. Shelf two. Oh, this is good, this shelf. So, I don't know if I can see this very well. I'll stop there, I'm going to lift it out so you can see better on the floor. There we go, that's better. So this is all our Spectrum games. We used to have loads when we were younger, but I, I don't know why they just went missing. I don't know whether my, one of my older brothers got rid of some of them when we were younger, but uh, this is ones we've kept or been given since. So let's have a look at some of them. Um, combat School. Oh my god. Man, my brother's favourite game on the Spectrum, uh, Tiger Renegade, was followed by, by this absolute piece of trash, Renegade 3, but never mind. Grizor, obviously known as um, Contra everywhere else, but that's Grizor on the Spectrum. Loved that one. And an absolute bona fide classic, Whizball. They're all the big box ones, them ones. So what have we got there? The Houston Collection, which has some belters in there, Zinaps, Exelon, it's absolutely classic, Ranorama as well, and Iridium Plus. Death or Glory, Screen Heroes one, what have we got on there then? Rambo, Miami Vice, Highlander, Street Hawk, 
uh, Night Rider and an absolute beaut one, Dilly Thompson Super Test. I always loved that one because you could take penalties on that one, really good. What's so we got there? Star Games 1, which can we see there? We're the Tiger, Barry McGuigan World Championship Boxing, Beachhead 2, and Rescue on Fractalus. All these games really bring me back. Another Bad Dudes vs Dragon Ninja. Oh, let me see, there are all these loads in here now. So these are uh, Star Glide, a big box version. And Gunship, big box version. What's that one? The Colour of Magic. I'm trying to see now any um, any really good ones. That there's all just the small box ones now. I'll try and turn the camera around so maybe see. You might be able to zoom in better, but this light's not great. Right, let's see if I can zoom in. I'm not really good at this camera malarkey. Let's do that, see if it auto zooms when I zoom it in. Let's see if you can see there. And obviously the tape player. That's actually a, a sealed jet set willy there for the Amstrad CPC 464. And sealed Manic Miner for the Commodore 64 and Jet Set Willy 2 with the Commodore 64. They're all sealed for some reason. Probably because I don't have an Amstrad or a Commodore 64, I would guess. There's some more. That side. It's not bad. Like I say, we used to have loads more. One one thing I don't have, which I always would, would like, is um, Tiger Renegade. We lost that somehow. I don't know why, but that was our favourite game. One of my favourite games ever. I love my two uh, two player beat em ups. There you go. That's the Spectrum stuff. Right, back to the bad lighting area. So that is full of original PC games. A lot of what my son has collected from the charity shop. There's some decent ones in there. One particular one which I can't really get to, it's right in the bottom, is the full Leisure Suit Larry collection, uh, which is uh, one to six when that came out. That's a really nice one. I like the Sierra Line boxes. And finally, in the bottom, a bit of weight in this one. So, what we've got in there two spare PS2s, some PS2 controllers, a spare uh, Panasonic 3DO FZ1, and a spare um, PS2 Slim, unboxed. Let's look on the, the this box collection here now, shall we? Let me pan back a little bit. Let's have a look. Let's uh, reposition for a better look at this lot. I'm trying to do my best from here. So from the front there, we've got a, a red um, DS. Original PSP. Not the first one. That was the, the newer one that came out with a slightly better screen. Got my Nintendo 64, which I got in release. The one I've actually got set up downstairs is a RGB modded one, so I've got my original one all in the box there. Got a donation from my nephew there, which is the Mario Kart 8 Premium Pack Wii U. I'll start moving some things out now so we can see. There's the Super Nintendo Street Fighter 2 Edition. These are all, all my box stuff tends to be in really nice condition. There's a few that aren't so good, but most of them are really good. The ones I've bought are really good because I look after stuff. Let's move these out the way a bit. In fact, I'll, I'll pause it there and reset myself. So we've got there now, we've got the 25th anniversary red Wii off my niece Jodie. We've got a black Wii U, which was my son's. Moving along, I think that's, oh, that, I'm sure that's the Xbox One 2 guitar version of, um, it's a Guitar Hero Live. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Got a new um, Xbox One, my, my, my lad's got them, but then they moved on to Razer stuff, which is more expensive, but that, that's still, I, I use one of them downstairs and I like it. Got a boxed play, uh, slim play, PlayStation 2. The side, we've got Tony Hawk's Ride with that big stupid um, skateboard peripheral. Got a Dreamcast keyboard. My boxed Jaguar controller. Uh, another red DS and boxed Sinclair rubber keyed Spectrum 48k model. Let's move some more boxes shall we? Right there's the next load move so we've got a 3 do speed pad which is um, original this box. I bought that all the time thinking it was going to be when I used to be in the old house didn't have much space I had a, an old PC sorry at the time my, my new PC set up with a monitor and I thought that was going to be the solution to plugging all my consoles in. It worked crap but I still kept it. StarTech.com it is video game jockey. Uh, they've got a boxed Nintendo Zapper. And there we've got the boxed Nintendo Scope 6 for the Super Nintendo. 
back corner there can you see hopefully you can Wii Sports Resort boxed and the UDRAW tablet boxed uh, boxed uh, Nintendo, Nintendo GameCube and we've got three boxed PS1s one of them which is a Japanese model underneath that we have um, I think it's an Asian Mega Drive. I bought it because stupidly think it was a Jap one, and it's like a PAL model, runs in 50 Hz, which is uh, garbage. But I've kept it there, it's in really good condition, it's box there, so it's there for the future in case. Possibly mods can make it 60 Hz, who knows? Then we've got a, a lovely condition Sega Master System 2 in the box, another white Wii U, and at the side there, a boxed in television. I'd like that set up one day, but with it being RF, it is problematic. But anyway, let's move some more boxes, shall we? Right, we're getting there. So now we've got a box Jaguar, which I would like set up, but I've only got one game, so I don't see the point really. We've got a, a box Sega Mega Drive 2. Oh dear me, I forgot to move that one. Let me just stretch over and move that Mega Drive. Have already seen that. What we've got there, we've got the PlayStation, you now the PS1, the DualShock uh, version. Next to it is uh, just a normal box PlayStation. We've got quite a few PlayStation ones, didn't realise. Got the DJ Hero. Renegade Edition, that was given to me by my brother. Let me just pause it there and move some more stuff. That's pretty much it now. In that corner you can't see, but they're called um, Joytech Control Centers, which is what that one is on the bottom. I've got three of them. It looks, it sort of looks like an Xbox 360, the original model. Really cool bit of kit actually. You can um, plug in uh, all your direct internet connections to it. It switches component, S video. And compensate. So just quite smart to be honest. Above there we've got a white set of headphones. Original Xbox ones for the Xbox uh, One. Then swinging around there behind that little box we've got the Nintendo GameCube um, Donkey Konga pack with the bongo drums in and sort of a, a third party um, steering wheel and pedals for the Xbox 360. So let's move on. Look at yourself, and that's um, like a flight stick for the PS3 my friend Lee gave me. I can't mean to use it, I think you can use it in Hawks 2 in particular, so I would like to try that, it's supposed to work quite well. A few odds and sods collectibles, retro gamer um, DVDs they brought out, and other odds and sods from various gaming conventions and things. Oh, they're just manuals for all sorts of IKEA stuff, all sorts of boring things like uh, AV switches, that kind of thing. This one, oh, I'll set the camera down, these are quite good. I never bought any of these, but my brother brother gave me them quite good. The the primer guides and the game guides, so have got Zombie U. It's a lovely one, that one. Zelda the Wind Waker HD. Smash Brothers. That's not a guide, that's an actual art book, that one on Titanfall. It's really nice. Prototype. Borderlands 2, COD Black Ops 2, it's a lovely thick one that one, Halo 4, so here's the next box from that, that bottom shelf, we've got uh, Skylanders, uh, Spyro's Adventure, Shall Guide and Skylanders Giant, Giants, Shall Guide, Crisis 2, Guild Wars 2, Left 4 Dead 2, Medal of Honor, Crackdown 2, Halo Reach, Halo 3 ODST, Gears of War 3, come on, stuck together, GTA 4, UFC Undisputed 2010, Resident Evil 5 and finally COD Black Ops 1. There's not really an easy way to do this. Let's, can we see there? Hopefully our original Atari 520 SCFM box. Above that is Super Famicom box, Virtual Cop box. I'm trying to show you what I can see. That's the new iMac I just got, which I'm still then out to use. Let's have a look on the side there and see what we've got. Start moving a few things. That's a uh, comment. These are all empty boxes. These this, this side of the loft is all empty boxes. Things I got set up in the rooms downstairs. 
So that's the arcade stick for the GameCube. So we've got water to bounce a bit precariously. Three of Meister box. The PlayStation Classic. My original PS4 before I got the Pro. That one's set up in room two. Sorry, room one. And we've got oh, my Xbox One Scorpio Edition box. I will try and reach over and show them boxes a little bit better. Just bear with me. So, what have we got here? Let me tilt the camera so I can see what I'm doing. That's the Action Replay cart box for Dreamcast. That's the cable. I forgot the name of the cable when I showed it on uh, uh, Tour Part 1. That's for the Wii PSE VGA cable by Mayflash. Really cool. I'd like to get a PS3 to use it for actually as well. But it, I use it on the Wii at the minute. Uh, outputting 480p on the VGA uh, monitor it looks excellent. So, what have we got here then? The Guncon 2 box, the blue one. I got a black one off um, me mate Ted the other week. So that's the blue one. We've got the Virtua Cop uh, box. Obviously they're both downstairs like I said. Um, love those light gun games, awesome. Let's move that out of the way. I'm trying to do this in stages so there's the it's a bit, it's a bit uh, whether I had this one smoke about uh, 4,000 cigarettes a day, but anyway, that's the Super Famicom box. Let me reposition the camera now. Alright, let's kind of pull that out a bit more. That's the Atari ST box, like I said. The Super Pack. I remember getting that for Christmas. Oh my god, it was amazing. At first, we'd originally asked for a master system, then changed last minute this, we were thinking, oh, there's no way we'll get an Atari ST. But we did, and it did actually work, because we did homework on it and things, because it was a good uh, good computer, but, oh my god, some games were just unreal. Anyway, let me shove that out of the way. So, let's reposition a bit. There we go, so there's uh, the Wild, the Weird, and the Wicked. Omega 600 pack. Again, that's another one of the things I need repair, need recapping. I've got an A500 Plus downstairs at the minute, but I want this set up instead because it just looks nicer and it's smaller. You, you, you lose the numeric keyboard on the side, but I don't mind, it looks nicer. But a form factor. And let's move around what we've got to get in. So, Game Boy mug. <laughs> got my original white Wii. It was actually a launch one that was so hard to get. But my, my wife's friend's husband actually was a manager of a HMV store at the time. So I managed to get one on release, which was cool. Uh, my box for my Virtual Boy. What's that one then? That's the PSVR box. Absolutely love that thing. It's such good fun. Right, I'll pause that. Move some more boxes. Right, what's next? My... Um, Wii U box. This is the thing off my PlayStation Lite. Box for my uh, PS3 Slim. Jap Satin box. That's the specialised uh, ASCII West specialised joystick for PlayStation, which is quite nice. Hori Fighting Stick EX2 for the 360. That's what my son uses. Nice one, that one. Razor Kraken Pro. Such a cute little pad, but what a great wired um, additional controller for the PS4. That's the Hori Wired Mini Game Pad. Box off the, on the PS2s I've got set up. Finally, this little bit. My. Uh, the black, we've got two Xbox downstairs. That's the black one, the box of the, the original one. Oh, it's going to be difficult now, they're all rammed behind here. But what can we see there? Disney Infinity Box, above that is Skylander Supercharged Starter Pack. These are, have all the, the proper, uh, I don't know, what do you call them, the, the plug in. Um, yeah. I'm sure my lad would tell you what it's called. The portals, that's it, the portals with them all, they're all in there. Skylanders Trap Team, Skylanders Giants, and the Disney Infinity Superheroes Pack. Let's move around a little bit. 
from my heart to go in the, and above that right at the very top there is the original Skylanders box additional GameCube uh, further down Guitar Hero 3, the 360 and one of the Nintendo 64 game pads, controllers, whatever you want to call it so we've got here, so we've got a couple of broken 360s which I might repair at some point we've got the video pack which I am determined to repair and another Japanese Mega Drive which is broken again something else I might do when I get my solder iron etc the original 360 box the Xbox One, I think that was my original launch edition, yeah it was yeah day one edition my son's Xbox One he got originally and my other son's Xbox One he got originally uh, below that we have some tech techy bits, we've got a Vision Pro, HD video processor by Lumigen which is a really lovely video processor, I just have no need for it at the moment a couple of Extron bits and pieces which convert um, what to convert, let me think, VGA to component and component to VGA and also some Kramer audio switches so let's lift up a bit now, so on top of here there's my Amiga 6 one needs repairing and oh, shed a tear that needs recapping, my uh, PC Engine Turbo Duo I'm determined to get that done next because I love playing on that thing but it's uh, broken at the minute boxes for my GXT7800 and my Retron 5 let me reposition these are a lot of these sort of tote type boxes now so let's see what we've got in here a wireless box which came with the control in those two games DualShock extension cable the Lynx crossbow trading Wii Zapper SingStar mics for the PS3 actually I think I use them on the PS4 as well with them being wireless memory card that's the Amiibo box which has Meta Knight in downstairs, made by Hori actually, didn't realise that oh, we've got our boxes falling down now, Let's stop that happening there's a the PlayStation Moves that I use for my um, VR what's this last one? Oh, can I reach it? I didn't see on it, it's a Skull Kid statue came from the official Nintendo Club which is on the shelf downstairs so next one down box my son's Elite Controller this is quite smart I don't use it very often but it's called the PS2 HD TV player which lets you um, using the component cables it lets you change your settings with software on the PS2 so you can uh, output in I think, HD settings up to 1080i it doesn't work very well in all games but it's alright in some of them I got that prior to getting my um, uh, PVM, so it looks better in 480i than the PVM now anyway. VMU box, Raspberry Pi, God knows. Another box, that's probably for my headset actually. Additional controller, media remote, and what's this little thing in the bottom? Another memory card box. As you can see, we I always pretty much keep everything that we have set up. Apart from, again, if you listen to the stories on... Um, one of the videos, links I got rid of, that was stupid, stupid of me, but that's an old story. So next one, let's lift it down. N64 rumble pack. That's a guitar hero thing for the DS, which it works alright I guess. Another major remote. The box for my um Official GameCube uh, component cable Titanfall controller Crappy Wii U handlebar thingy Steering wheel thingy which is total garbage Wii component cable GameCube controller adapter For the Wii U Which is for Super Smash Brothers What have we got here? New 3DS XL, 3DS XL box, and uh, Xbox 60 you're in the movies, which came with a camera. I'm sure it did. There, so our four card for the DS. 
I don't even know why I kept the ones. Guitar Hero uh, for the guitars, some um, rechargeable battery packs, official ones I think. PlayStation camera for the VR. The charging dock for the 3DS XL. The Wii Party box. And the UDRAW Xbox 360 tablet. Got two of them on the Wii as well. That was the 360 version. Again, the lads are well and truly grown up with those things nowadays. So I've got the our original Atari 2600 box. Guitar Hero Metallica behind it. And now it becomes absolute carnage. Oh, you can't really see there on the back of there, but our Nintendo Switch boxes behind there. Can we see? I don't know if you can in this light, but I can see it anyway. Obviously, the Skyland is a box that we saw already. Now, there's loads of little boxes, they've got everything you can possibly imagine. And those little blue and silver boxes, I can't not get them, they're taking me all three years, but anyway. Let's move on. Let's move along then. Snes Classic Mini. NES Classic Mini. I'll have to apologise if this isn't zoomed in properly. It's a really awkward angle in the loft here. Look at the Starlink for the Switch. Uh, now here we go, we've got those two. PS Pro boxes, white one, which is mine, and the black one, which is my son's. Let's reposition a little bit, shall we? I, don't know, I still don't know if you can see. Again, apologies once again for the light. Here's the camera box that I'm using at the moment Lumix G7 DMC K. Our Dreamcast box. Can we get this one out of here? There we go. That's my original launch. Panasonic FZ1 FZ1 3DO. Be cramped on this side, unfortunately. Everybody, just bear with me. While I shuffle some of these boxes around. There's a box, really lovely condition box that one as well for the Nintendo NES. Uh, control deck. And that one. What else have we got? Box for our PC Engine Duo. And our box for the uh, arcade fight stick for the Tatsunoko vs Capcom Ultimate All Stars game. Beneath that is the Star Wars Edition Xbox 360. Move them out of And we've got the another 360 box for which was just the original Kinect version. Behind there, at the back you can see the Guitar Hero World 2 a full box set, which is an absolute nightmare to put back in the box. And we've got the kill zone. Hellgas Edition, Special Edition. Above that is the box the Xbox Crystal. The Scorp oh, my son's Scorpio Edition Xbox One. And what's that one? PlayStation. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. Well, there we go. I thought it was. It is. The PSVR, the aim control and fire point. That's everything put back in love, neat and tidy. So one last little thing, I haven't shown people before, just a bit of fun. Let's have a look to see what's in this room. On the games room's floor. Right, let's have a look. Go away, I'm taking shit. Let's try that again, shall we? See if that rude person's finished. Aha, there's no one there. So what have we got in here? We've got the, the bathroom between the two games rooms. How good is that? So if you sit down here, it's great. Got a Super Nintendo mirror, Marvel picture there. Got a um, Daredevil picture, Silver Surfer there, and on this side, we've got the Punisher. What's nice about this is you can sit on the toilet and watch that telly or even play on the Xbox 360 while you sit on a dump. How cool is that? 
Right everyone, that concludes the three parts of our room tour. I hope you enjoyed this last part. Um, it's not for everybody, but I personally like to see what other people have got. So that's why I thought I'd show you around what's in the loft, because some of the things would be nice to have on display, this isn't quite the space. So things like the, the Spectrum games I would like to have out, but just probably take up too much space, so it's something to consider in the future. But anyway, thanks for watching this and the other two videos. Leave a comment if you feel like it, and we'll see you next time.